Morning everyone, um, Gary Francis, a technical advisor for Netfim in KwaZulu-Natal. Um, today we're in a quite an interesting field. It's We've got young macadamia trees in them, planted in amongst some lovely bananas. Bananas obviously doing very well. And we've selected this uh, orchard to do a little bit of routine maintenance. What the maintenance is, is to cut open um, dripper lines and actually assess to see what the drippers what the state of the drippers are now there isn't a fixed time that one would do this it depends on water quality but generally as a rule of thumb one would do it every three months or two every six months depending on on the water quality what we'd normally do is come to the end of the line and we'd work back into the last third of the dripper line of the lateral and select a dripper and we'd cut that dripper open and have a look and actually determine what is happening in the the dripper itself i've got a couple of uh, spares here it's very important if you cut out a dripper to obviously replace it with the same dripper when you replace with the same flow rate and the same size dripper line so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut open a section of dripper i've cut out my section of um dripper line with the dripper in there. I'm just going to cut it a bit shorter so it's easier to work with. Now what I'm looking for here is I'm going to cut open first of all the pipe and to inspect the pipe to see what's happening if we've got any buildup of minerals or organic matter in the pipe. Um, Obviously, it's something one wants to do very carefully. Right, so now open it up. What I'm looking for here is to inspect the actual filter itself. To, I'm looking for any organic or mineral buildup on the filter itself and also inside the pipe, what the condition of our, our pipe is. This triple line's been in for several years, and as we can see, they've been doing maintenance with peroxide and the odd acid treatment, and this dripper is looking very good for a installation that's been in it for a few years. Okay, now that I've inspected this side of the dripper, I'm going to turn it over, and I actually want to cut it open and have a look what's happening inside the labyrinth, and also the diaphragm of the dripper. So I'm going to carefully cut it open. This is normally the tricky part and it's best to take it slow so that you can actually get nicely into the dripper. A sharp knife definitely does help. What I'm cutting away here, because the, obviously the dripper has been welded into the pipe so we're cutting it away from the the pipe cutting that welding away and i'm also checking the outlet chamber here um, there's no build up of any organic material or mineral build up that i can see so we've checked our outlet well now we're going to actually open the dripper itself as we pull it open look at that labyrinth absolutely perfect lovely and clean we then lift um, diaphragm when to inspect our diaphragm no problems that we see there still intact There we can see inside our dripper that is lovely and clean. Okay, so having inspected our dripper, um, we found it to still be nice and clean. This is one of the, the visual checks that we do um, from time to time. As I said, it's every couple of months. You do random spot checks in the orchard. This is over and above your normal checks that you would do. 
checking your pressure upstream downstream of the filters checking your block valve pressures checking the amps um, amp meters on your pumps and your water meter flow rates so this is just an additional and a visual inspection that we do to see what the the quality and the standard of our drippers are in the field.